Here I am in Lower Town again, the original home of the St. Paul Art Crawl, although the crawl is spreading across the city. Art Crawl began when a group of Lower Town artists opened their studio doors, welcoming folks to come in and check out their art. More than 20 years later, this semi-annual art showcase has expanded to over 30 locations, stretching from downtown to the Minneapolis border. Today I'm at the Union Depot. Let's head inside to find out how this historic train station fits into the St. Paul Artist Community's Event of the Year. The St. Paul Union Depot reopened late last year as a regional transportation hub following an extensive renovation. The depot is not only a stopping point for buses and trains, it's becoming a community event center. So it just makes sense that the Art Crawl and the Union Depot would get together. Here to tell us about it is Winna Bernard, an event organizer and Art Crawl artist herself. So Winna, what's going on here at the depot? Well, actually, there's a couple things going on at the depot, um, this Art Crawl in the spring, which is April 26th, 27th, and 28th. Um, one of the things is, is we're actually having exhibitors here at this beautiful location. We have about 15 individual artists and then two organizations. Two of the organizations um, support artists with um, professional artists with disabilities. So that's pretty unique and exciting because this building is accessible. Um, the second thing the depot is involved in is, of course, the accessibility again, and that's the parking. There's over 2,000 parking spots here, which are very reasonably priced, easy to get in and out of. And for the first time, I think the crawl will be really, really easy to get to. Tell me about the St. Paul Art Crawl's partnership with the St. Paul Saints. Sure. Most people don't know this, but the Saints for many, many years have supported the arts in a whole bunch of different ways. And specifically, they've had a full-time artist on duty at the St. Paul Saints and other ballparks that Mike Beck owns. Um, his name is Andy Nelson. He's done all the murals out at that ballpark and several other, other locations. Andy unfortunately passed away in 2008. So we're doing a tribute to Andy at the Lower Town Loft Apartments in the lobby. So that's one thing the Saints is um, helping out with. And the second is, again this year, we're really trying to focus on how to do the crawl, how to get people out from building to building to see all the art and all the different artists. So this year, their mascot, Madonna, is going to be putting hoof prints throughout Lower Town to get you from building to building. So just follow the, the pink hoof prints and you will get to find more art in the Lower Town area. What else is new this year? This year we're offering a passport to Art Crawl customers or crawlers. Um, and this passport will allow folks to go from building to building here down in Lower Town, visit all the different galleries, and each building they stop at, they'll get a stamp. Um, once they've collected five of these stamps, they'll be able to submit this passport into a drawing for an iPad Mini. Now, in the past, I know people from maybe Minneapolis and the suburbs thought you might need a passport to get to St. Paul. Well, this year you actually do. Just kidding. I'm guessing we just scratched the surface of what's going on at Art Crawl. Where can folks find out more? Oh, sure, it's easy. Just go to artcrawl.org to find out all the locations. There's an interactive map and the dates and times. Thanks, Winna. Thanks, Nick. And we'll see you doing the crawl. Yeah.